Hey guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review and tutorial using this bad boy right here. It is the Lux Ion 4-in-1 Auto Wrap Air Styler. I got it from Sally Beauty for around $150. So of course you have the two barrels. They go in two different directions. It also has a diffuser for curly hair and look how big this thing is. This is huge. And then my other favorite part about this is you can blow dry your hair with it with this nozzle. Three airflow and heat settings. Off, medium, high, and then low, medium, high in terms of heat. And then this button up top here is how you curl your hair. Once it's done, or once you feel like you're done curling, you can hit it again, and that's when it'll shoot a cool air. And yeah, I've just been really impressed with this thing, so I wanted to show you guys the tutorial of how I do my hair with it. Now keep in mind, I don't have extensions. So yeah, if you guys end up liking this video, please give a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you can sit. Good girl, you like it? You like it? Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I used the Bondi Boost shampoo and conditioner. But as you can see, my hair has dried now for about like an hour. The more I air dry it like this, the more volume it gives since I'm not going to be using hair extensions. So it's pretty much, I would say it's like 95, 90% dry. The only thing that I'm putting in it since getting out of the shower is this Redken Quick Blowout. You have to line it up with the arrow and then twist it in place. Once it's twisted in place, you can kind of move it whichever way you want. So for me, I personally put it all the way up to the highest. And the round brush I'm gonna be using is the Ceramic and Iron from Olivia Garden. This is like a 1.5 inch. Bangs first and any pieces that are kind of framing my face that I feel like usually get a little bit of a curl because they're kind of on the shorter side and they're thinner than the rest of my hair. So I like to do a bottom section first, a middle section, and then a top section. So three total. And really it's just a rough blow dry. It doesn't have to be perfect because the way that the wands work when it's like auto wrapping the hair, it truly does smooth it out the way that you want it to look. So you don't have to work as hard to get your hair super straight and frizz free, you know, when you're blow drying. Then I'll hit it with a nice cool shot for like a good 30 seconds all over. I personally like to direct the hair as it's auto wrapping because especially for my bang section, which you'll see, I'm kind of pulling it back up on top of the barrel and that just gives it a lot more lift. I don't do that for the other pieces, just for the bangs in the front. And honestly, for most of the hair, I do kind of direct it the way that I want the hair to curl around the barrel. If you did just let it auto wrap the hair, it will. It's just that I don't have short layers. I just like it to, since my hair is so long and, and the barrel is shorter, I like it to be wrapped near the root, near the middle, and near the end, not just the end. So I, I do think it needs a little directing, but other than that, it's pretty easy to use, and after every single curl, once I feel like there's been enough heat distributed throughout that piece of hair, I will hit the cool button, and it'll automatically turn off after like five seconds of cooling that piece of hair down. Then I will hold it in my hand for a little bit, just so that the curl can cool even longer. And then I'll let it drop. Now if you want your curls to stay like throughout the next few days, you can definitely pin them and hairspray it. For the day, I do feel like I don't really need to pin it up, but that is an option if you guys want your curls to last longer. Right now what I've been using to smooth out my hair is a mixture of these two, a little bit of the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother and the Kerastase Elixir Altine. It's like an oil mixed with a leave-in kind of consistency and I feel like it's just perfect to finish off the look, give it some nice shine, eliminate the frizz from all the blowing around, and then I will finish off with the front pieces of my hair, like mostly the bangs, with Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray. This has been my favorite for a very long time. It just does a good job of holding the curls in place, um, but I do like my curls to be very bouncy and movable so I don't spray this everywhere, just on the pieces that I definitely want the curls to not move, which is the bangs. So this is how it ends up looking. Like I said guys, I absolutely love it. My experience of it has been amazing. It makes me feel so good about my hair without extensions in it. I know I do have very thin hair and not a lot of it, so it's hard 
for it to look really voluminous like a true good blowout would that is just my genetics and what I've done to my hair over the years with bleaching it over and over, you know, sew-in extensions, tape and extensions, all of this. So for my hair to look this good to me after all of that is huge. <laughs> like, it's such a confidence booster. There's no tool that gives me this look. I do think that the affordable price is what makes it so good, especially considering all the different things you can do with it. It's a multi-use tool. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Down in the comments, let me know. Um, your experiences with this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think about it? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.